Ah, nothing beats a glass of ice cold lemonade on a hot summer day. The chilling effect of ice is so relieving. <laughs> I tell you, but is that all ice does? Actually, no. Its importance is far beyond that. Do you know? Ice is responsible for the existence of life on Earth. But how? Let's find out. Ice is quite a unique substance. Notice, when I push these cubes down, they come right back up to the surface, don't they? That's unusual actually, because solids are usually denser than their liquid counterparts. So most of the time, they would sink if placed in their liquid form. But ice, despite being a solid form of water, floats on it. If you zoom into the molecular level, you will see these randomly moving H2O molecules, which, if cooled below zero degrees, convert into ice and get locked in this beautiful cage-like structure. We have an entire video explaining how this happens, so do check it out. Now, let's observe what happened during the cooling. As the temperature falls, the randomly moving H2O molecules slow down, start coming closer and occupy less space. As a result, the density of water increases. But this happens only up to 4 degrees Celsius. If it's cooled below 4 degrees, water starts to expand. But why? Remember that cage-like structure of ice? As the temperature dives below 4 degrees Celsius, water comes close to its freezing point. So its molecules try to arrange themselves in that cage-like manner. To do that, they need to move apart and water expands. That is why water below 4 degrees is less dense and tends to float over warmer water. At 0 degrees and below, these molecules successfully form the cage-like structures and water has changed into ice. If you look closely, you can see these large gaps between the cages, which makes it even less dense than cold water. And that is why ice floats over the water. While most liquids contract and become denser, water expands and becomes less dense if cooled below 4 degrees. This is what we call the anomalous expansion of water. Now, you must be wondering, what floating of ice or anomalous behavior has to do with the life on Earth? To figure this, imagine yourself strolling through a Siberian village <laughs> and you see a lake. At such low temperatures, you might think that it's completely frozen. If that happens, fish and other aquatic life will just freeze to death. Hmm. Not just this lake, but every water body in such frigid conditions would share the same fate. Luckily for fish, that doesn't happen. Because as the temperature of water starts to fall, Below 4 degrees, its anomalous behavior kicks in, causing less dense, colder water to float on the surface where it further cools down to form ice. Ice, being less dense, floats and covers the water body like a blanket. It is also a poor conductor of heat, so a thick layer of ice on top insulates the underlying water from the frigid atmosphere. This way, the ice layer on top prevents the water body from freezing. So the water underneath remains liquid and aquatic creatures happily survive beneath this icy guardian angel. That is how ice is responsible for the existence of all aquatic life. But not just aquatic. Polar ice caps 
at the North and South Poles are nothing but massive ice blocks floating over the water. What do they do? They reflect most of the solar radiation into space and they regulate the Earth's temperature. In their absence, Earth would become so hot that life would not be possible on it. Now you know how life on Earth owes a great thanks to the floating ice. But before I leave, here is something for you to think about. How does this anomalous expansion of water change with altitude? I'd love to know your ideas. So make sure you share them in the comments below. And if you've loved this video and want more such conceptually clear videos, subscribe to our channel.